If there's anything the United States government likes to do, it's punish people for being whistleblowers. Uh, this ranges all the way from Manning all the way to Assange. If you speak out against the crimes of the empire, you're going to be punished. But this goes far beyond just those two individuals. Daniel Hale helped expose one of the many crimes of the Obama administration. He's responsible for helping expose the targeted assassination program, including drone warfare. Most notably, he is the individual who leaked a lot of documents to The Intercept, which then became their famous expose, The Drone Papers. He provided the documents to The Intercept co-founder Jeremy Scale and anonymously wrote a chapter in Scale's book, The Assassination Complex, Inside the Government's Secret Drone Warfare Program. Hale is accused of giving 36 documents to The Intercept, 32 of them not being directly related to his work at the NGA. Essentially, he gave 17 documents to the reporter, of which 11 were marked secret or top secret. Essentially, a special assassination program was created for the Obama administration. The government would secretly use a drone and other measures to kill high priority targets. It was primarily headed by the CIA. What is important is that the US government is carrying out killings without oversight. No indictment, no trial, no conviction. On Wednesday, March 31st, Hale pleaded guilty to one violation of the Espionage Act. And then, a little bit later, on the 23rd of the next month, the judge, Liam O'Grady, accused Hale of violating his bail. And then several days later, he was arrested and put back in jail. His lawyers maintained that there was no violation whatsoever. Hale is being held in the Alexandria Detention Center. The place is famous for being the location where Chelsea Manning attempted suicide in 2009 while she was resisting a grand jury investigation against WikiLeaks. It's also where WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange would be jailed if he was extradited to the US for trial. Now, as I said, he has been re-jailed on the accusation that he violated his bail conditions. However, his lawyers maintain that no such violation actually took place. Medea Benjamin, one of the co-founders of Code Pink, was distressed to find out that he had been rearrested and that had previously urged the judge to give a sentence to Hale that included no jail time whatsoever due to the nature of his uh, alleged crime, that it was whistleblowing about something that was going on that was illegal. This seems to me like a form of psychological torture. Daniel Hale has PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, precisely because of the drone program that he was a part of when he was in the military. And the sentencing that he faces is something that has obviously weighed very heavily on him, as has the entire episode from the time that the US government has gone after him as a whistleblower. He needs help from people in the public health field, but he certainly should not be in a detention and much less in isolation. He's a sensitive young man who cares about people's lives and that's why he revealed the information about US drone killings. This was the same jail where Chelsea Manning attempted suicide and where the judge in the case, Julian Assange, said he couldn't be extradited because he would risk psychological harm in this prison, where they put whistleblowers in isolation. Now, to put Daniel Hale, who was already suffering mentally in the same situation, is cruel and inhumane. Now, with regards to this program, Hale does know what he was talking about, because it was his job to find the targets and then essentially have them assassinated. What bothered him so much about this program was the fact that so often innocent civilians were killed. Now, it's not only that they were killed, but then the powers that be would turn around and find justifications for the killings of those innocent people in order to avoid any kind of legality. In other words, in the most cold-blooded expression, the government, the US military was looking for excuses, justifications, lies in order to murder innocent people because they could find the actual target that they were looking for and to avoid responsibility for their actions. And because of the killings of these innocent people, Hale decided to come forward. This is the reality of human rights in the US empire. This is absolutely nothing new.
Far from this statement or this claim from the United States that they're the bastion of freedom and democracy in the world, we see very much that the opposite is true. We see human rights abuses left and right, not just around the world with the millions, tens of millions of people who've been killed for U.S. profits, but even in the United States at home, many of them with black skin, whose only crime was being in a place where a police officer just didn't want to do their job properly, so it seems. But that's, that's the way things are. This is the true face of the U.S. empire that a great deal of people don't want to see. Many of them are on the right wing. They don't want to see the, the, the hatred, the disregard for human life, the desire only to accumulate capital that represents an, an empire in the phase of imperialism. This is entirely what the world is dealing with. And there are many on the left, or the so-called left, who tend to make excuses for it when it does things internationally, but lament it when it does anything domestically. And such people should be called out on their, ca their callous, cold-blooded indifference to those who toil for their privileged positions in the world. Obviously, Hale should be released immediately, and the legal basis is there. He was a whistleblower. There are protections for whistleblowers in the United States under the law if those laws ever seem to get applied. But this is the way things are, and the United States needs to wake up to what it is that its system does and finally do something about it once and for all. Hale, like Manning, like Assange, should go free. Now, Manning is already free, but you know what I mean. Whistleblowers in general should be compensated for what they've lost as a result of doing the right thing and blowing the whistle on the crimes of the US empire. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.